Yo, what's good with y'all? It's K Major. I'm back with another video for y'all today. Today I have a special video where I'm going to be showing you guys all of the shortcuts inside of FL Studio, at least all the useful ones. Also, I'll have a photo on the screen. Since I'm on Windows, it's just transferring all the notes that I'm pressing for Mac. So if you're on Mac, just replace what I'm saying with those and it's you can still use all these shortcuts. If you guys enjoy and learn something new, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's just get straight to the video. All right, so here we are in FL Studio. I'm going to be breaking down into sections. First, I'm going to start with the playlist. So I'm going to start with a lot of the basics. For example, first, most of the shortcuts are this toolbar up here. There's many ways to select these. First, you could obviously click them. But second is if you right click and then use the mouse wheel, you could cycle through the actual buttons. And then for the shortcuts, Shift P is for the pencil. Shift B is for the paintbrush. Alt D is for delete. Control Shift T is to mute. Alt S is for the slip. Alt C is for the cut. And also for the cut tool, left click is to slice it. And then right click is to delete it. If you hold Shift, the cutter is just a straight line instead of just dragging over like this. So shift left click to cut, shift right click to delete, alt E for the select tool. The select tool is kind of useless because you could do it with any of these tools. So if I were to select the paintbrush, if you hold control and then left click and then drag over, you basically have the select tool. You can select whatever you want. Same with the zoom, which is alt Z. You can select any of these tools and all you have to do is control right click to zoom in, control right click again to zoom out control right click and then drag over to select where you want to zoom in another way to zoom in is control mouse wheel and that's going to zoom out horizontally so it's going to minimize all the cracks that's to zoom out vertically actually and then holding alt and then clicking the mouse wheel and dragging down is to zoom out horizontally and you can do this as well in the piano roll and then lastly alt y is the playback control a is to select the whole song control d is to deselect control a and then delete is to delete everything then obviously control Z is to undo. Another quick trick with undo and redo, control Z is to undo. And if you keep pressing it, you'll keep undoing. Control Alt Z is to redo. And if you keep pressing it, you'll keep redoing. But the quick trick I want to talk about, if you do Alt Z on the left side, it's going to pop up this level. So as you can see, eight out of 23. 23 means you have 23 undos and eight is the one you're on. So if I keep undoing, it's going to go all the way up to 23 and then stop. I can't undo anymore. But if I do Alt Z, Z is going to go all the way back to one, which is basically the original project. So if you look at that number, it kind of helps you organize and see how many undos you have left and everything. Control C to copy, Control V to paste right on top. But if you want to copy it over, just do Control B. If you're dragging over a pattern, it's snapping to the grid. If you hold Alt, it bypasses the snap. If you hold Shift, click and drag over, it actually duplicates it. When you drag something over, if you hold shift, it's gonna stay on track. But if I let go, then I can move it up and down. Control shift and alt is to bypass the grid, but also keep it on track. Alt M is to mute all the sounds. Shift alt M is to basically unmute. Alt P is to open up your pattern selector over here. Alt T is to add a time marker. Same with control T, it's gonna open up this bar at the top. Up here with the snap quantization, if you do backspace, it's gonna to put it on none if you hover over it and click the mouse wheel it's going to snap it back to the default which is line if you hover over it and use the mouse wheel you can actually cycle through them another way to delete is doing control x control alt c to consolidate which is basically exporting it into a wave control g is to merge the clips if you do delete it does deletes them but if you do control delete it deletes the entire playlist including all the time markers and everything if you right click you delete but if you double right click and hold it you actually have the mute on so you could highlight over over any note you want and mute all of them and then just to undo it double click hold it again and hover over it if you hold the mouse wheel you could actually drag over whatever part you want space obviously plays the beat and then pressing space again resets it to the beginning but if you play the beat and hold control space it pauses it right on the marker and then space again to play it and then obviously if you pick for an example nine and you press space and pause it again it's going to keep resetting it on the marker but if you want to bring it back to the beginning just hold shift and then press space shift and then one two three is just zoom levels the last thing i forgot to mention for the playlist is if you hold down the mouse wheel and you right click it brings up this little menu these two little highlighted buttons are very important when it comes to using waves so when you have a wave you could use the fade in knob so to toggle 
toggle it on and off is shift F. Same with the stretch mode, but if you do shift M. Lastly, if you have a bunch of patterns in here, you can select the first one and then control shift and select the last one to highlight all of them. And then you can just drag them all on here. So now that's it for the playlist. Now I'm gonna go into the channel rack. First, I'm gonna go over the mute and unmute, which is this green button. Left click to mute, left click to unmute, obviously. But if you hold control, you could solo it and then click it again to unsolo. If you hold shift, you lock it. If you hold alt, it'll actually mute the groups. Using the numbers on top of your keyboard while holding control allows you to solo whichever one you want. So you can solo the fifth one, the first one, third one. Also holding shift is just to mute it. So you can mute the first one, third one, fourth one, fifth one while holding shift. Next is the volume knobs. Right click, control C to copy the value. Select another one by right clicking, control V to copy it. And if you press the mouse wheel, it'll just reset it. And it's the same thing with the pan. Now onto the sounds. If you right click, I'll bring out this menu, which a lot of the shortcuts on here are just the first letter. For example, G brings up the graph editor, R rename, press I to insert, select the box, control C, select the new one, control V to copy it over, control X to delete it. Right click F is for the advanced fill. Control L would just select it to a mixer track. If you highlight multiple and you do control L, put them all to a mixer track. But that's pretty much it for the channel rack. Now the mixer, control A to select all of the mixer tracks. Holding control and shift, you can select multiple mixer tracks. Control shift S allows you to save the mixer preset. Shift S is to solo any track you want. And then obviously, shift s to unsolo if you click this little red dot right here and you do alt r you can render the track into a wave that's pretty much it for the mixer track now for the most important one the piano roll so first things first the tool knob shift p for pencil shift b for paint control shift n for the paint and drum sequencer shift alt d for the delete control shift t for the mute control alt c for the cutter shift e for the select tool shift z for the zoom and then lastly shift y for the playback so most of them are the same but some of them are a little different control a to select the bar control d to deselect shift c to select all the notes control d to deselect shift c control b to copy it over control c control v to copy it alt a for the arpeggiator alt b for the note helpers alt e for the rift machine alt f for the flamer shift g to group them all together a very useful one is alt k and this will transpose them all to one note control l to connect the notes you could also do alt l to have a little bit more control shift d to shorten the notes alt m to mute the notes shift alt m to unmute the notes you accidentally dragged a wave inside of the piano roll you can just do alt n to hide it or alt n to bring it back alt o to bring up the lfo tool you could also do alt r to randomize velocity pan and all these other knobs also create the randomizer which kind of just randomizes the notes control q is to quantize you could also do alt q to have more control control s is the strum tool control u is the chop tool you could also do alt u to have more control control v is to activate the ghost notes control alt v is to actually edit the ghost notes alt w for the claw machine alt x for the level scaling alt y to flip the notes either horizontally or vertically control m is to save the midi control x is to delete everything you could also do shift h to cycle through the sounds but i think that's pretty much it for the piano roll so the very last thing i'm gonna go over is the buttons up here pressing f1 brings up the manual for whatever category you in since i'm in the playlist and i pressed f1 it brought up the playlist f2 is to name a pattern f3 is to bring up the file menu f5 is to bring up the playlist f6 is for the channel rack f7 is for the piano roll f9 is the mixer and then lastly f10 is your midi menu f11 is your info and that's pretty much it so like i said there's millions of these shortcuts if you really want to know all of them just go to the manual and there's pages of these if you guys did enjoy and learn something new make sure to leave a like comment subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss any more videos if there's any shortcuts that you use that i missed make sure you leave them in the comment section down below to help me and help any other producers that are trying to learn these shortcuts but yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in the next video